what makes you happy, you know? I think when I'm not there. I think when I'm not there. Yeah, um, most most teenagers now communicate better through text. Through what? So instead of talking face to face, them express yeah, themselves yes. better through typing. Yes. 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 So she, I think she's type, like that type, like if you're up on the road, try typing to her and, and, and say what's up, what's going on, how's your day and what go on, may I worry about you and like through text that when you try to confront them because they have some people don't like confrontation. Uh -huh. Some of the things say you could have tried that. But but you, you see what I keep hearing you guys saying? She's it's like she's twenty. Everybody put age on everything. Right. Huh? Pretty much. But it's right, right. yes, it it hold, hold on. going to put her under restrictions as an adult. Hold on. Hold on. It's not... One of those people where I say, where I, where I, where I, who has them get to them, have to put a cigarette for them out or a cigarette on them out or before they go to bed, they have to put a cigarette or, 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 I, 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 no, she's not that mm -hmm. kind of, she's not that kind of drinker or smoker. You understand but me? You're saying, yes. But you're saying she does it. But, 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 I, but I don't, but I know she does it. And I said, mm -hmm. I do not want inside here. Right? All right. The other day she called, the other day she, she said, Daddy, you can't drop me at the gas station. Right? I said, okay. I said, I turned to myself and I said, okay then. I said, what is it that you want at the gas station? And someone said, what is it that you want? I'll get it for you. No, she wants to go. Because a whistler, she could have want to get her cigarette. So, um, I say, so, I say, she, is then she turned to me, oh, she wants to right now. This service is so bad. No, I'm I, I'm I farm, and I told you, I'm not um, I think I just fell a mess with my phone right now at this time. Snaps. So, Mr. No, we can't go to the supermarket for snaps. Oh, don't bother then, don't bother. Mr. No, you think I'm stupid? A cigarette you want to buy? You get what I say? Mr. What else, what else sell at the gas station that they can't go to the supermarket go get? What is it that the gas station carry when the supermarket don't carry? But I want right. frontal leaf and I like something. No, I'm at the point, right? Let me say, I'm going to take your advice and, you know, and when we'll I come home this week, and the tomorrow, tomorrow, try the therapist. And see what, 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 Try the therapist. My and advice is don't give up. Don't give up on her. No, you can't give up. He's not going to give up, man. He's not going to give up. I just frustrated him, frustrated. Because him dead, I remember him look a princess, this, you know. And it hurt him to see what she had go on with. And him can't figure out okay. why she now open up to him. So, he might go show that's something there. Anybody else in the life of a daughter like that, where, where, where I go through that phase, they have the teenager because. I believe it's the teenager stage and the Jamaica teenager stage different from the young kid teenager stage. Because remember, the boy them were a Yankee and the girl them were a Yankee. Some of them want to go in a gang 
and them try to start smoke first and then they left them for a party and then them other friends have throw things in a glass and you understand them are going to the greatest thing, you know. Mm. What we have to remember, you know. When we are for them age, we get pitney, you know. And them pass that stage, they say them don't break the cycle already when they have the pitney. It's a joy to me that my youth them don't get a pitney yet. It's a joy to me because I get flat. You know what I do? Yeah, Richie. Richie, you want the guess? I'm not going to hold longer. I'm going to jump off. I'm going to jump on 95 and the traffic cannot get next here right now. I need, need the attention here. All right. Go on, because of yourself, man. You don't know you can come on any time. You can show yeah. you like rubber duck in the land. Yeah, people. So you don't know. What I say is, the stage they have, 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 have been late teens. Because late teens, because late teens 20. Because people allowed when they reach 25. And they say you reach when they reach your prime. See, I saw me look pan, me look, me look, me look, me look pan life that 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 in other in a, in other way there. See, and that's why I tell people, no for you no know, need for come on pan them live and see the difficulty of being a parent. It's all sweet and dandy when you have the little ones and them with one and two and them do some things and they say, oh my god, this melts my heart. Oh my God, look at my prince. Look at my princess. Oh my God, she's so adorable. He's so handsome. Remember, you're not face nothing yet. I'm not telling you not to have a child, but prepare for everything because that little pretty smooth and baby run and the whole lad murder is all sweet when them just born. But you have stages of growing up. You have, you have stages. You understand? You have the, 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 the pre-teen state when them are 9, 10. And you have the teen state when them going on 13, 14, 15, 16. These are the years where you have to go look for deal with. And remember, we get batteration when we are them age there and that never change way. We get batteration and that never change way. So now, them one you know, if you notice, every time you look in Jamaica, people put up and say, Pitney missing. 95% of the time, the Pitney no run away, like a people take with the Pitney, you know. Them run gone to other people's yard because there is some home that will take them. And there is some home that's run like a hotel. Where the mother does do a share though. And the son do what him do. Because him bring in a girl and say, Mommy, my girlfriend, come check me, you know. The parents don't say, where is our parents or whatever. They don't have time to get up and call nobody. First thing them start, say, Mommy, I have no credit. Or you, my son, send me $25 for your phone. And she take it and she call her, man. Him son bring in a girl and him say, him and him son a girl is together. Him bring in a girl and beat it in her room. And him son a beat a girl in the next room. So enough time when you hear say them pick me and miss a pick me and miss now six blood clean month. And as somebody here, them there, and people see it on news, and people see the pitney and everything, but everybody just busy and mind them own business. You understand? So, it's two different things. It's very difficult when you have a child, and the child now do, where you expect the child to do. Because remember, you know, when you have a, when you have a child, we have high expectation. We want nothing but the best. We want to pitney go to university. We want to pitney come go to Harvard or Yale. Or Michigan. We want to pick them go the best. We want to spend the last money picking them and say, that's my boy. That's my girl. You understand? So when we see the youth, they go down our road and we are said, don't do it. Like for instance, and it's like when we see the youth, them now be like we. And them are try to be somebody else. We bex. See? We Bex. And how Bex we is it anger we and I say, well, okay, I can't believe so the people do this and rare, rare, this and that. But what we have to do as parents, give them for them space. We have to give them space to try to find for themselves. Don't give them too much space, you know, because you have to get too far as if they are drowning, you try to save them. Because that is what we as parents do. You know what I mean? So, that's how we really are trying to say. 
there's always room for improvement. We are children of the lamb. See? And we are the lamb to the slaughter. We spoil with pitney and nothing wrong with giving with pitney the greatest and the best thing. But we have to give them, give them space to find themselves. See? All right. A perfect example. Everybody who grew up in are they still holy? Check most of who grew up in a Christian home. Who not have two and three picnic? Because remember, they were very secluded and didn't go out nowhere to do anything because them go a Bible study, Bible class, Bible leaf, Bible and key. Them go every part of the Bible. Them go from Job, from Proverbs to Job. Them go Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, First Corinthians. Them go everything. You know what I mean? Them go everything. And then when them go sub no one say, eh, hey, I want to try something different. That's why, because remember, them never get the chance to make a choice what's made for them. Because we can't make choice what we put in the people. We make choice what we want them to do, but when them reach a stage, them are going to say, eh, hey, probably them thank because we did make them do certain things. And probably them resent because we make them do certain things. So we have to just have a open mind. It's very hard being a real parent when you plan, because remember, you know, A man put more effort in a them relationship more than them pitney relationship. Them prefer build a relationship with a woman where them know from nowhere than with a daughter or a son. Right? But as I can say, the man is hurting and the man a try. Seeing? The man a try. And you have to give kudos to that. He's trying. And I love how no, no, love how no listen and I take notes because People always jump pick up play a blame game. See? She's 21, big girl that you can't try to rule her. No, him not try to rule her, you know. Him want to know what about her. Sometimes you don't listen, but you don't listen to everything. Remember, I never said that at no point at all. He must stop her from doing nothing. He want her to do things. He want her to go travel. He want her to do everything. Remember, you know. For, for those who don't understand the life of a choker. Those who don't understand the life of a trucker. You see a trucker, they on the road 24 7. Time off them have a tech. Them go all over. Me have my bridge in where's a trucker. I remember them man they take up themselves and go to Alaska. Remember me rate him. Come and see them man they do it. The, remember there's no place in America where him not drive go. Them man they drive from New York to California. See, I remember anybody who knows about flying to California, it's five hours and 20 minutes flying. Flying to California. So you can imagine driving. That can take one week. You understand? So, him, I try to put bread on the table. She's up, she, she do her education. Remember, this girl is not like she lost. Remember, say she have her education. She have qualification. She just start work. Remember, say, say she bright. She, everything she do. I just, for the past two years, she have got you, she have got you things. And then remember, you know, this COVID pandemic, this COVID pandemic, remember, it plays a big part and people's mental also. So we have to put in all that in a, it too. Because grown-ass people are losing them sanity right now. Grown-ass people are losing them sanity right, 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 right now. See? So people, we have to be rational. We have to be rational and, 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 and think. Why I said, him said three years now, remember probably him put that area in it and that area within April now. So I'm not about to put that area in it. 
You understand? I don't bother put that area. So I said the past two years. Remember for deal with this pandemic. Yeah. Remember all the people that go through it with them pit because the pity them not slap up in a house. And them now nah, all them at hear with the type of music where she listen. Punk rock. The punk rock music, them and the tattoo members say she have a lot of piercing. So right now she have a white people mentality. You see them TV something with the pity them sit down and watch with them white people that were in the house and them blood clad. Say them hate them father and them just want to do drugs and them father for love them. Remember, so we watch them something up on TLC, enough time enough people, enough black people. It's like we don't know, we don't, we don't know where we stand. We feel like we're supposed to try and act like and be like. Remember, you never know how strong you is until you have to be strong, you know. See? Because me know you have a lot of fascinating with piercings and tattoo. But trust me, a white people have them. Africa people have the have piercings and rare, you know, but white people deal with the tattoo and the, and, 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 and the whole of them something there. You know what I mean? So we have to, we have to, we have to, we have to look on it in many ways. Because we are trying to find a solution where we can tell him. And as I said, I told him, go see a specialist. Something happened over the past two years that is bothering her. Me, I say, is a heartbreak. And me and from the wrong crowd. Because if she keep friend, him says she not keep a whole heap of friend. And him, him know she used to talk to a youth. And probably the boy used to smoke and introduce her. So as we may say, we don't know if she take any hard drugs. We don't know if it's weed alone she's smoking. We don't know if she need a detox. We don't know what's going on. See? That's why I say anybody who have a child, whether you have coming by now, he have a daughter and he go through it. Some people have a son and they go through it. I know a woman right now who are going through it with her son. He have a girl and the girl break him out. And from that girl break him out, every two weeks he try to kill himself. And as a caring parent, as a caring parent, that have to be it have to be one of the hardest things to deal with. Because at any moment, you have to wonder. You're there at work and you, you can't function. Worse if you have a position at your job. You see? And these are things where I try for, for people to understand. Say, we have to just work more with I. See? We have to work more with I. Hold on. Sorry, I have to drive me to drive, Miss Lux. Sorry about that, Miss Lux. I just drive, I drive, so I just sent me just, me just send it a request now. Morning, Richie. Afternoon, evening, all of them something. Yes. Listen, me. I, you have to stop blaming other cultures and this and that and things like that because a lot of this stuff is internal. Okay. Them, so I see how can I get a it. Okay, thank you. Sorry, the work. Sometimes, <clears throat> you see, he was saying that he's going to bring in his girlfriend. If that young lady, which is his daughter, is what I call daddy eye, <laughs> she had daddy eye. Anybody else poses a threat to her. She feels say, they might try to take her space. I remember him say, anything she need, anything she want, in gear. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It makes sure session of suffer, make sure session of no separation or struggling. And with each generation, the generations are more rotten, the more spoiled, the one more, more and more and more. Nothing is ever enough. The reason I can't say that is straight it in the ring. But go and raise in the church seven days a week, church, 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 church. Couldn't do nothing but church. As soon as I got a chance, Gone through it. Not no stop the horse there. You understand? So, with that young lady, he needs to ask her first if it's okay to bring in the girlfriend in the conversation. Because if he brings her while he's talking to her, she's going to take it as I need to defend myself. More time when the children are acting up or acting out, they realize that it's only when I go and like them in a sense. Them time you pay me attention. 
Because even though he pays her attention by talking to her and giving her things, she doesn't equate attention those, those ways. Most children, sorry, Mel, equate attention as time spent. You could have buy, you could have give, you could have do everything. But you see, when them she say, you never did it for them at their most needed time, they'll act out. I have two. That's, trust me, anybody that know me, no say. Anytime you see me, I might three chicks them back on me pee pee clock clock. I'ma go above and beyond for them. You see, when they got old enough and they were able to see outside of my house, then turn around and give me my aunt, give, them, give me, they ask the kiss. Then tell me about myself, then tell me about my underneath, then tell me about everything. And you know what I did when they did it? Which me never cause. I just say, okay, because guess what? Everybody must learn. Everybody has their time. How them say, when trouble reach you, pick the shot, take you. So I just have to realize that that is something that they have to go through. At first, I used to cry and say, you know, what did I do wrong? I was a horrible mom. I didn't do enough. Richie, get my whole life. And years, me never take a vacation. I serve every, see of every vacation day, every sick day, in case something happened to my pitney, because I was mom and dad. Yeah? My pitney them still turn around and give me them ass vacation. Not only did they do that, they put their hands on me. Right. Now, Richie, any normal person would have bust ass. But I had to think, okay, which part me live? If me put my hand on them, two of you jail. Then that leaves the other children that are left without a parent and without a sibling. The last incident was last year with my 19-year-old. She blazed up me and her catch up in an argument and she blazed up and she put her hand on me. And at that moment, I killed me one killer, you know? It was five days before her 20th birthday. Kill me one killer. But then I had to stop and think. That's a reasoning community. My 12 year old was right there. My oldest daughter's baby was right there. So imagine if me didn't hurt her in front of them, Pitney, the trauma it would have caused on them. Then the cycle continues, continues, continues. Young man, I ask you to sit down and think of the times that you have put into your daughter. Ask her first if it's okay to bring in the girlfriend. Or you can ask her. Um, outside of me, who do you feel comfortable talking in front of? You know, you can ask her. She's 21 years old. If she want to smoke, if she want to grind, she got to do it because she's old enough. But if you set your ground rules and say, listen, I know you smoke or I know you do this. Just don't do it in my four walls because that is your house and that are, that's your rules. And if she can't go by your rules, then you know she, where she can go, what she can do. Right. But is he constantly giving, 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 giving? It will never be enough for them people these days. Their coping skills are nothing like ours. Richie, you could somebody could have chat you away a little bit and tell you about your head, tell you about your nose, tell you about this. I you shake it off, and you go deal go do something else. These kids now, they self harm, they lash out, they don't have the coping skills that we have. And they don't have the mental capacity that we have because so much um, that was instilled in us by our village that raised us, yeah. majority of what is instilled in them, they've gotten from TV and outside influences. You're never going to be able to stop outside influences, ever. Especially no, especially no. Especially no, because these kids, kids have so much access to everything. Like anything you can think of, they have access to. Things that we couldn't even imagine. My daughter asked me the other day, oh, mommy, if you didn't have Google, what do you have? I said, we had encyclopedias. So I said, what's that? I said, it's a book. <laughs> we had to flip the pages. <laughs> and we were poor, so we didn't have them. So we had to go to the library and borrow them. I couldn't take them out. And I did all of my assignments. And they were always on time. Like now they're doing homeschool. And I said, oh, yeah, Miss Assignments, are you there warm? You can't absent from, from, from school and you're home. What, what is the problem? But it's just the outside influences. It's, and that's why I said don't blame. Oh, that is a white thing. Because think about it. Tattooing and piercing. Africa, them something they originated. Huh? Majority of the things that we see, there's 
I'm not a Bible person, but I do know that in the Bible it says there is nothing new under the sun. The things that we see now, what happened in them time, it just turned a different way. It's like if you have a figurine, what's the dunk, sir? And you go, sir, and it turns, so it's the same figurine, you know, but it turned a different way. And you're viewing it from a different point of view. So, yeah. Mr. Man, ask your daughter. Like, the things that she's going through, you know, she's... um. Asking for attention. And it may, like you said, it may be like a broken heart. And the broken heart can actually be her loving daddy so much. And him telling her, oh, me I love you like how you are. You know, said so that mush up a girl. It mush up a girl. Especially, you have to think about it. He took her from her comfort zone, her first comfort zone, which was Jamaica. And brought her here. You took her out of her natural habitat. And brought her somewhere where she had to assimilate or either make a niche of her own. And if she's not strong enough mentally, she's going to assimilate and not make a niche of her own, which means just stand out. So now what she's doing is she's trying to fit in. Tell her, I say, okay, that's you. Love her same way. Hell, I'll go, go buy her ears ring. Say, see, this one look cute. She will say, wait a minute, hold on. Why are joining number foolishness? Because sometimes you have to, um, I learned from a kindergarten teacher said that when you're talking to little kids and they're not behaving, sometimes you have to get on their level. Sometimes you have to have squat down and talk to them and say, okay, little Johnny, let us talk now. So he maybe have to get on her level. I one day come home with a fake tattoo. And it will open up conversation with her. It will be a start. It may help her. It really may help her. But may I go in now? May I finish listening? Sir, find a way to get on our level. Love you, Richie. Big up. Every time. Here. From females and males perspective on being a parent, because remember, as what she said a while ago, it takes a village to raise a child. A village. Nowadays, we don't know what I go on. That's why I'm at. Tell people, say, it's wicked now than when we did young. That's why, remember, you know, if we are 40 you now, remember 20 years ago, you know, 20 years ago, we you know, we prime and a go on and a ray and a lay and a play, you know, and a go on with all kind of thing, but we never used to do certain things because uh, we did one, though. 20 years ago, we never fully in you know, the internet stage yet. Remember, we used to have to go to Jamming Tell to make phone call because we love one a family, a foreign. We used to have to put with foot Pan, 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 cardboard and cut out with, with, with shoes. Like we have so much things where we can reason with, we use them about, you know. But the situation we just get so caught up in the internet world, we don't remember certain things. We don't remember certain things. It's like we, the parents, enough time, we don't remember our roots. And true, we don't remember our roots. It's like when light gone, what we used to do? We used to tell Duffy's story. That about brother Tukuma and brother Nancy. You know what I mean? Them your villager now. Girl I come to your daughter, tell your daughter, say she want to try something with her. Boy, I see a youth and I tell your youth all kind of things and I say, oh, you see that car there over there, so you can't drive it, you know. All you have to do is go link the big man up at one place, you know. You know what I mean? So it's like, it look easy now, but we saw, we open up to too much things now. The youth, them open up to too much things. Like, we, 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 it's like, we invest in a more gossip than reality. And now, remember, these youth now from them born, them have sense. And I like them are growing at them sense. Them born with them sense already. Just check when they pity them born nowadays, no man. Check when they pity them born nowadays. And them always say, don't provoke your pity to Ross. Don't provoke your blood clad parents to Ross. Excuse my language. Can't nobody feel like say me and play the rod and spoil the child. Me use the rod and give the child some blood clot lick. When me talk, you're supposed to know say I'm me and the man boy. Yeah. That's why I said there's a difference with foreign and 
locally. Because locally, every Caribbean parents know, say, if the picnic ramp, you fuck up the picnic. But nowadays, I abuse them, call it. See? And foreign picnic quick for dial 911. Foreign picnic quick for dial 911, so it's very difficult. It's very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Because when you go to a man, say, you go take the belt down. That's why I'm telling you, say, who will live a foreign from Jamaica? Make sure you teach your picnic about Jamaica. Carry your picnic come to Jamaica as soon as you can bring them to Jamaica. Make them come see. Bring them over Portmore and make the mosquito like, bite them up and make them say, Oh my God, mom. Make them see so you wash clothes. And you're not going to land you, man. Make them see so you wash clothes in your big bad pan with your cake soap and you put it in soak. In a scandal bag or a white see-through bag. Uh-oh.